Hey guys, what is up? My name is Scott, and the video for today is going to be, I'm just going to let you guys know that when to buy your players, and it's going to be a quick method for on Wednesday when the BPL team of the season comes out. So, um, uh, the first thing is when to buy your players back, and the best time to buy your players, um, is either going to be the B, or, yeah, the BPL team of the season first day, or the Bundesliga team of the season first day, I would recommend the BPL one because that's when the pr people's prices were the lowest the first uh, uh, last year because there was like a Ebra that you could get for 300k when his regular price was like 360k like the day before that. That's just an example. And uh, so you'll be able to pick up players for a lot cheaper than they're normally at right now. So that's when you should buy it. You should buy it as soon as the team of the season comes out. Maybe like wait 20 minutes or something when the team of the season comes out. And that's when the players are going to be probably at their lowest for the whole of the team of the season. And uh, for the method that you might want to be doing um, is going to be trying to trade with consumables. Bidding 200 coins on each one. Because people are going to be opening a lot of packs. Listing the, uh, the cards up for uh, maybe like 100, 200 uh, star price. So what you're going to be wanting to do is either go to position or chemistry styles. Um, position is probably better. Um, with this, you can go, say, striker to center forwards worth 2500 right now. You go max price 200 And then you would uh, bid 200 on e and every single one of these cards. And you'll be able to pick up a couple of them. Maybe not every single one. And then you uh, be able to sell them on, on the weekend for a little bit more, like... Probably like fifteen hundred right now. Um, not exactly sure on the prices of these cards because everybody's buying packs right now. Every, all the prices of the cards are going down. So uh, this is probably a pretty good method to be doing at the start of the week. Um, pretty much every week that you want. And a really quick one too is I'll just quickly show you with a player that I saw this week is. I don't know if this is going to work exactly, you can't, I don't know if you really would want to try this out, um, but at the start of the week, Jackson Martinez was 200k at the first day of, like, uh, on Wednesday, and now he's uh, pushing up 300k, so um, what I would be saying here is try to pick up a player who's worth about 200k um, the first day of the team of the week when everybody's opening packs. And maybe sell it on the next day for, like, whatever price you want. Really, whatever, like, the lowest price is. It'll probably have a pretty nice profit. As you can see, there's, like, 300k. It was going for 200k just before, like, last week. Or, uh, on Wednesday. So, that's the two methods for today. Um, and so, buy your players on, uh, or, um, the first day of the BPL team of the season and the consumable method and the players are, that are in Team of the Seasons. Um, so, Danny also did this. Um, he was about 120k at the, start of the, or at the start of the week on Wednesday. And he would, he pushed up to about 220k. So there's a really good like upside to this. Um, there's a little bit of downside, I guess, if you lose coins on the players. But you probably won't. Um, I can't guarantee that you will, but I would recommend players who are probably about at least 60k and up, I guess. It would probably be the best choice. Most of the players in the team of the season are going to be above 60 for the BPL one. Some players obviously won't be. Um, but for the most part, people will players will be above 60k, so I'd recommend maybe trying to bid on a couple of them. Trying to pick them up on the Wednesday and be able to sell them for more. So if you guys did like the video, please drop a like on the video. 